This is a conceptual visualization of low order interleaving. Here I have a deck of cards. It's a conventional deck of cards, but I don't have them shuffled in a conventional way. Most people would probably consider this unshuffled. Some people would probably call it collated. Um, if you ever played a game of cards, any game of cards really, you've probably had a dealer and there have been a number of players. For this illustration, I have four players and I'm going to be dealing a deck of 52 cards. And the way I deal these cards is going to be pretty conventional, even though I don't have the deck shuffled in a conventional way. And I'm going to have the cards face up for the illustration. So each player is going to get 13 cards. These cards each represent one memory address. Each player is representative of one memory bank. Each memory bank is constituted of 13 memory addresses. These 13 memory addresses sum up to a total of 52 memory addresses for the total memory, which would be indicated by the size of the deck, which is, in this case is a conventional deck size of 52 cards. Now, each player seems to have their cards kind of shuffled in a sense, but there is a rhyme and a reason to it. If you were to look closely, even if you hadn't seen me shuffle it in the way, or excuse me, deal it in the way that I had, you would recognize that there is a pattern. It's not a sequential pattern, but it is a pattern. You can see increments, ace, one, two, three, four, and I restart back here and continue to increment. I've distributed all of my memory addresses across four banks, and my total memory is contained in these four banks represented by the four players. They each have a hand of 13 representing 13 memory addresses, and this is conceptually how I understand low order interleaving, which is a form of non-sequential memory address distribution. Thank you for watching.